Atlas is one of um, four detectors based at CERN and it's one of two general purpose detectors along with CMS and its role is to find anything it can within the constructs of the energy regimes it has and the particles it finds. Glasgow has quite a rich heritage uh, working with um, specifically Atlas but also in other CERN experiments. We worked on the construction and assembly of what's called SET, the Semiconductor Tracker, which is currently operating in Atlas and that was built here in early 2000s up to about 2003. I'm leading in Glasgow the construction of around 900 strip modules, which is a type of semiconductor detector that will be installed in the upgrade of Atlas, which will be happening about 2025. What they want to do uh, is increase the luminosity uh, of the detector, which means they'll be able to find um, more particles um, um, over the time that they have, which is about a 10 year run. Currently in Atlas, um, when the protons collide, it causes what's called a pile-up or interaction of about 25 to 30 um, um, interactions every 25 nanoseconds. The goal of the upgrade is this will increase to something of 200 to 300 interactions every 25 nanoseconds. And so if we run this long enough, we should get enough statistics to see some of the rarer events we wouldn't see in the current ALICE detector. We've been working for about two or three years um, on prototyping some of the new detectors and the new semiconductor based detectors that would go in the proposed upgrade. So this has been trialling uh, the readout of the electronics, the actual um, assembly steps and testing things like the sensors as they come in to Glasgow. Um, and this is going to kind of evolve into what would be called pre-production where we begin to buy, uh, build and assemble real parts and then moving into production which will last about three and a half years of constructing something of the order of 900 modules which is about 20% of the barrel-centric part of the detector for Atlas. So there's no way we can do these sizes of experiments without a lot of people. It's a very, very kind of almost humbling experience where people from all different sets of backgrounds sit together and work for a common goal. And I think it makes um, the Atlas experience and I think the CERN experience even better for it.